What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here in the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to the Chicago Bears Legends Fantasy Draft Series here on the channel. We are back in the conference championship game for the NFC for the fifth straight season. That's right, you heard me correctly. You don't have to adjust your audio at all. The Chicago Bears are back in the NFC Championship game for the fifth straight season, looking to go back to the Super Bowl for the fifth straight season and go four out of five with Lombardis in this series. Obviously, last season we had a little bit of a hiccup against, uh, who did we lose to? We lost to the, who did we lose to? I don't remember. I don't remember who we lost to, but it doesn't matter because that's in the past. We are going to play the Carolina Panthers, who are 9-7 and seven at the moment. We've played the Panthers many times in the past, in the regular season and in the postseason. So we know what this team is. We know how to beat them. We've never lost to them in this series, so there's no reason why we should lose why we should lose in the conference championship game. Trevor Lawrence last episode played terrifically. Randy Moss played out of his mind. LaDainian Tomlinson played crazy. Calvin Johnson had a good game last episode. Troy Polamalu had a good game. Our whole team just had a, a terrific game in the divisional round of the playoffs. So there's no reason why we shouldn't have another spectacular game today. So I'm looking for Trevor Lawrence to have another huge game. I'm thinking maybe three or four touchdowns, 300 yards passing, maybe even a rushing touchdown thrown in there every uh, if he gets if he gets crazy. And it looks like we are going to play the Bengals. The winner of this game will play the Cincinnati Bengals in the in the Super Bowl. If you guys remember, a couple of of seasons ago, I think it was season. Season three, it had to have been, because that would have been our last Super Bowl win. We played the Bengals, so it'll be a repeat of that, of that third Super Bowl. And Ladanian Tomlinson, who cares about the Super Bowl when you have the NFC Championship game to think about? Ladanian Tomlinson takes the first snap of the game and he takes the 75 yards. Ladanian Tomlinson, with the, the biggest play of the playoffs so far. One play, 75 yards. It took him 10 seconds to run 75 yards, which is pretty impressive. And just like that, Chicago is up 7-0 on Carolina here with 10 seconds gone off of the game clock. And the kick is kneeled down for a, for a touchback. Lamar Jackson walks out on the field. How will he respond after a one-play 75-yard run from LaDainian Tomlinson? This Carolina Panthers team may be shocked. And Lamar going to take off for his own 75-yard run. He gets wrapped up before he gets the first down by Le by Floyd. De Gabriel Floyd. almost said Leonard Floyd on that one. What's going on here? YGJ, YGM and, and uh, Capart are like on top of each other. That was a little bit weird. Jackson motions the man to the left. He snaps it and he gives it to Thurman Thomas who is stuffed. At the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Third down and inches. Third down and inches at the 35. Lamar from the shotgun snaps it and he gives it to Thurman. Who looked like he was going to get stopped short. But he just found a hole. That was good awareness from, from Thomas to be able to find that hole. Good patience as well. Lamar under center. Motions his tight end. Snaps it. Hands it off to Thurman Thomas who gets stuffed again for a two-yard gain. Our run defense has definitely stepped up this postseason. It struggled a little bit in the in the regular season, but our defensive line has played really well in this postseason. Lamar hands it to Thurman Thomas again who does a little bit juke, but he gets hit for a fumble. The offensive lineman picks it up and takes it about 10 more yards before Ray Lewis finally wraps him up. How lucky is that for Thurman Thomas to get smacked, fumble the football, and their offensive lineman just happened to be there to pick that up. It looks like it was their left guard, who, or right, their right guard who picked it up. My mistake. Jackson from under center gives it to the running back. Who is that? That's Bowser. 
I'm assuming that's a uh, created player running back. I'm not 100% sure, but he is their second string running back as of this game. Under center again for Jackson. This time he gets wrapped up. Bowser for a loss. Jaylene Phillips was there to wrap him up. Lamar Jackson out of the shotgun. Third down and 12 from the 43-yard line. Bosa. And Bosa's in there for the sack on Lamar Jackson. Nick Bosa gets the sack to end the drive for the Panthers. And they will have to be forced to punt this football back to Chicago. And the punt is out of the end zone at the five-yard line. A terrific punt. A fantastic punt from there from the Panthers punter on that one, knocking it out of the five-yard line. Trevor Lawrence under center gives it to Ladanian Thompson, who cannot get another one-play touchdown, but he gets about two yards on that one before getting stopped by Jadevion Clowney, who is still on the Panthers, hasn't left yet. Trevor Lawrence out of the shotgun. Ladanian Tomlinson to his left. Hikes the ball. And he's sacked for a safety. Jack Ham is there for the sack. And that is a safety. Not what the Bears wanted on that second drive. Trevor Lawrence took a little too long to find his player. And that one could end up costing us. Lamar Jackson now for his second drive of the game under center to start this drive off. First down and 10. Motions is tight end. Snaps it, hands it off to Thurman Thomas who gets stopped for a one yard gain. Ray Lewis has been all over the run game so far in these first couple drives. Jackson snaps it from shotgun. Holds it in the pocket, has plenty of time, decides to take it off and run, and he slides down before the first down marker for a third and two. Big gain for Lamar Jackson. That's how the first quarter will end. It is seven to two to start this game off. Lamar Jackson motions out of the under center to the shotgun, snaps it, finds his receiver. Is that a first down? It is. They give Thurman Thomas forward progress, and he gets the three-yard reception for a first down. Good play from Lamar Jackson. That was quick thinking, getting out of the, the pocket. And he snaps it from shotgun. He throws a lob up, and it's caught by the receiver. DeAndre Baker almost had a hand in there to knock that away, but he just couldn't reach it. Lamar Jackson out of shotgun with Thurman to his right. He shots it, and he fires it to his receiver. The Panthers starting to get a nice drive going here. Lamar, empty backfield, in the shotgun. First down and 10 at the 44, snaps the ball. In the pocket, finds a man open, but it's stopped short by Ray Lewis for no gain. Ray Lewis has been all over the place in this first half. Jackson now in the backfield with Thurman Thomas to his right. He snaps the ball, has the pocket, fires quickly to his tight end who has some space to run. He gets bumped out of the out of bounds after getting the first down. And the Panthers have a fresh set of downs here. Lamar in the shotgun position, hands it off to Thurman Thomas who gets wrapped up for a loss by Popo. A two, a one yard loss by Popo. Lamar Jackson now has Bowser to his left in the shotgun, snaps the ball, hands it off to Bowser. Can they get a similar play? And Stevenson's there to wrap him up for a three-yard gain. Third down and nine. Jackson in the shotgun again with Bowser to his left. He snaps the ball, has the po a clean pocket, fires it to his tight end, who's stopped by Ray Lewis for a gain of two and fourth down. They will have to kick the field goal to go down by two. And that's what they do. They get the field goal team out there. And that's the two-minute warning. They don't get the kickoff. Will they change their mind? No, they keep the field goal unit out there. 
Justin Lane on to block it. Almost had it. Justin Lane almost had his tip, his fingertips on it, but he just was early. And the field goal is good. It's now a 7-5 to five ball game. One of the weirdest scores I've seen in this series so far. Rondell Moore to back to receive the kick. He takes it up. He gets up to the 33-yard line. Big return for Rondell Moore, the speedy little guy out of Purdue. Now Trevor Lawrence back in the shotgun. Last time he was out here, he got sacked for a safety by Jack Ham. High snap. Hands it off to LaDainian Tomlinson, who takes it up to the 39-41 yard line. How will Trevor Lawrence respond to being sacked? He's in the shotgun, snaps it back, fires it, and Jesse James has the ball knocked away. Third down and two now at the 41-yard line. They're bringing the house. Trevor Lawrence, will he adjust? He's got quick slants. He snaps it. They don't hold it. And he finds Randy Moss for the quick slant. Randy Moss is off to the races. To the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Chicago! Randy Moss with that quick play ability. One strike. And the Bears get another touchdown. 14 to five late in the first half all Randy Moss needed was one open lane and he took it to the house Justin Tucker with the kickoff deep in the end zone and they're not gonna run it out they kneel it to the 25 yard line that is where Lamar Jackson in this Carolina offense will start Lamar under center to start off the drive how will he respond? They got the field goal. They had a pretty good drive last game, last drive. And Ray Lewis there to wrap him up again. Ray Lewis is stacking them tackles up. And they call a timeout with a minute one to go in the first half. 14-5 with a chance to go to the Super Bowl on the line. The Bears have represented the NFC four straight, four straight times. And a big hit from Daxton Hill knocks the ball away. And that is Lamar's first incompletion of the game. Under a minute to go, third and five. Lamar out of the shotgun. Thurman Thomas to his right. He snaps the ball, hikes it from the backfield. And Henderson gets the first down. 52 seconds left, one timeout remaining. Jackson from the shotgun. He snaps the ball, drops back in the pocket. Fires one in to Thurman Thomas, who gets a first down up to the 49-yard line into Bears territory. They run the hurry up. 33 seconds left to go. They still have a timeout left. Lamar in the pocket. Fires one to his receiver, but does not get out of bounds. The clock is still running. They run the hurry up. There they go. They call the timeout with 20 seconds left to go. No more timeouts for the Panthers. They have 20 seconds. They're at the 42-yard line of the Bears. Second down and two. Lamar out of the shotgun, snaps the ball, fires it deep, and it's picked off by Eli Apple. Eli Apple snatches that one out of midair. Lamar Jackson ran, scrambled out of the pocket, but he found no one. And now the Bears have a chance with 16 seconds left to get a quick play touchdown here. Trevor out of the backfield. Chucks it deep, and that's a pick. He went to to Noah Fant, his backup tight end, and Jabril Peppers intercepts Trevor Lawrence the very next play. Now Lamar Jackson with eight seconds left. They get the ball back one last time. He fires it in, and it's a fumble. Ray Lewis with a big hit, and Daxton Hill is there to pick it up. I tell you, Daxton Hill has a nose for the football. Daxton Hill has a nose for the football. He's there to pick up. How long is this field goal going to be if I try it? It's going to be a 67-yarder. I don't even want to try it. Actually, you know what? Can Justin Tucker hit a 67-yard field goal? Let me just see how deep it would be. 67 would just be too much. There's no there's no win basically to speak of. 
This would be unbelievable if Justin Tucker hits this this punt or this kick. Can I call another timeout? I can't. I got to go with it. 67 yarder to end the first half. He snaps it. The kick is clean. It's up. And it's not going to be good. It's just a little bit short. That would have made some history if Justin Tucker hit a 67 yarder. And we kick off the second half with Tucker kicking it away to the Panthers. It's going to be in the back of the end zone, and they're going to kneel it down, start at the 25-yard line. Lamar Jackson, one interception, his only mistake of the game, really. He had a couple incompletions, maybe one incompletion, but nothing really major to speak of other than that interception. He snaps it, fires it into his receiver for a five-yard gain. Lamar out of the shotgun again. Second down and five. Saps the ball. In the pocket. Fires it to Thurman Thomas, who gets drilled by Popo for a gain of two on the play. Third down and eight now. At the 27-yard line. Lamar in an empty backfield. Saps the ball. Drops back in the pocket. Steps up. Fires it. And Nick Bose is there. No, it's Jaylen Phillips. My mistake. Jaylen Phillips is there for his first sack of the game. And that is how the Panthers' drive ends to start the second half. A three and out. The punter knocks it away to Rondell Moore, who receives it, takes it up to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. Jukes a man at the 50, at the 48-yard line. First down and 10 with tremendous field position to start off the drive for the Bears. Trevor Lawrence out of the backfield. In the shotgun with with LT to his left. Snaps the ball. Fires one in and it's knocked away by the linebacker. Trevor Lawrence struggling early in this game. Lawrence under center. Snaps the ball. Joss back in the pocket. Has no one. Fires one in to Jesse James who gets it knocked away. Third down and 10 now for the Bears. Trevor Lawrence. Third down and 10 out of the shotgun. Motions his receiver close. Snaps the ball. Drops back in the pocket. Feels the pressure. Fires it to Megatron and he catches it for a first down at the 37. Big catch for Calvin Johnson on the play. Next play, they stack the right side of the line. So that means Lawrence sees it. He's going to motion to the left side, and LT gets some space. That breakaway speed that LT's famous for. A stiff arm is blocked, and he's brought down at the 12. Four rushes, 110 yards for LaDainian Tomlinson here in the, in the game so far. Now Lawrence out of the backfield. In the shotgun, snaps the ball, fires a quick one into Jesse James. The outlaw brings it in for a six-yard gain. And now Trevor Lawrence in the zone now. In the shotgun with LT to his right. He snaps it, gives it to LaDainian Tomlinson, who drives a couple of Panthers into the end zone with a linebacker on his back. And Thornhill to his right, he carries Two Panthers into the end zone. That's a real man right there, LaDainian Tomlinson. Going for two here. Lawrence out of the shotgun. Snaps the ball. Fires it into Megatron in the back of the end zone. And the two-point conversion is good. Panthers up 22-5 to five on the... Bears up 22-5 to five on the Panthers. Tucker with a kick. And it's once again in the back of the end zone for a touchback. Lamar Jackson coming back on the field after a three and out to start their their second half. Not what they was hoping for, but Jackson fires a strike into his tight end. A quick first play from Lamar Jackson trying to get this momentum back on the Panthers' side. 
Out of the shotgun. Thurman Thomas behind him. He snaps the ball. He runs out of the pocket, he shifts a little bit, and it's picked off by Jaylene Phillips, who then jumps out of the end, out of the, and out of bounds territory. I accidentally hit triangle too many times, but Jaylene Phillips comes up with his first interception of the playoffs, and Lamar Jackson, another crucial mistake from the young quarterback, and Phillips, and Phillips, and Trevor Lawrence fires it in to Jesse James, who brings it in for his second catch of the game. A minute 33 to go in the third quarter. Bears up 22 to 5 on the Panthers. Hands it off to Ladanian Thompson, who drives up for a one yard gain. The no huddle, the hurry up is run. Lawrence hands it off to Ladanian Thompson, who trips underneath his own lineman. And the hurry up is keeps going. Third down and four. Lawrence under center, snaps it, fakes it off to Trevor. Then he gets the touchdown. No! Oh, they call it. What are they? What is the call? It's a no touchdown call. It's first down and goal at the one. The announcers thought it was a touchdown, but it's not. It's at the one yard line. Trevor Lawrence snaps the ball, fires it, it's picked off. Snyder picks off Trevor Lawrence at the one. The Bears do not come away with points at all after the turnover from Lamar Jackson. And he snaps it, fires it quickly to his receiver who gets the first down, breaks off a tackle, and gets a couple more. 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. I can't believe that they didn't call Jesse James in the end zone. And then the very next play, Trevor Lawrence throws an interception, a crucial interception. He seems to be, to be known for throwing interceptions in bad spots and that's how the third quarter is going to end it's going to be 22 to 5 going into the fourth quarter six minutes left to go before one team is crowned nfc champions jaylene phillips lawrence daxton hill misses the tackle and thurman thomas just takes it up the sideline dodging all bears defenders and thurman thomas very impressive run to start the fourth quarter. Lamar in the shotgun with Thomas to his left. Snaps that ball. He scrambles out of the pocket. He's going to take it and run. Stevenson's there. And he dives, slides down for a nice gain at the 14-yard line. First down and 10 at the 14-yard line. Five minutes to go in the game. Lamar out of the shotgun, snaps it, fires it into his receiver, who gets brought down at the seven. And the Panthers making a nice drive out of this, out of this turnover from Trevor Lawrence. Second down and three at the seven. Lamar in the I formation. Snaps the ball, hands it to Thurman Thomas, but Popo is in the backfield before Thomas could even get out of his own way. Third down and seven now at the 11. Big loss on the run. Lamar in an empty backfield. Snaps the ball. Fires it into his tight end. Henderson who breaks off of Palomalu and is brought down by Ray Lewis at the one. Now we've been in a similar situation just a drive ago. Trevor Lawrence threw an interception at the one-yard line just last drive. What will, what will Lamar Jackson do? He's going to fumble. Jalene Phillips, strip sack fumble, and YGM is on his way. Get on your horse. He brought down at the, at the 30 by the tight end. What a crucial play from Jalene Phillips, who comes up with a big strip sack at the one yard line and Ladanian Thompson tries a spin move but lost but is brought down for a loss of two on the run what a crucial mistake from Lamar Jackson that's now three turnovers for Lamar Jackson here in this game all coming at crucial moments Lawrence motions a receiver and hands it off to Ladanian Tomlinson who's brought down by Jadevian Connie for a loss of one or a gain of one Lamar out of the shotgun with LT to his right. 
Snaps the ball. Fires it in to Calvin Johnson, but it's deflected away by the safety, Jamal Adams. And it's going to be fourth down and 11. Justin Tucker will come on for the, the kick. He gets it off. Fields holds it, and it is up and good. Right down the middle, 25 to 5 now. It's a 20-point game with 2.11 to go. They need three touchdowns to win this game. And the kick is going to be non-returnable. He kneels it down. They will start at the 25-yard line. How will this drive go? Last drive, Lamar Jackson fumbled at the 1. Now he's in the shotgun with Thomas to his left. He snaps the ball. He fires it in, and it's knocked away. Lamar Jackson once again in the shotgun. Snaps the ball, fires it into his tight end, and he just drops it in and out of the hands of the tight end. And it's third down and ten. That was put right on a... Right on a dime by Lamar Jackson. The tight end just drops it. Hands of steel. Lamar snaps it again. Hand, gives it to Thurman Thomas, who gets the first down. Two-minute warning. Comes and goes now. Will the Panthers be able to score three touchdowns in two minutes to tie this game? Lamar out of the shotgun. Thomas to his right. Snaps the ball. Fires one in to his receiver for a nice gain. Once again, Jackson in the shotgun, snaps the ball. A lob up, Palomalu is not able to bring it down. He just deflects it away. Lamar Jackson getting pretty risky with these throws. Palomalu, if he was a step quicker, could have had that interception. And that would have been the ball game. Jackson this time throws a strike to his receiver on a slant route for a first down. A fresh set of downs for the Panthers. They're moving quickly, no huddle. Jackson out of the shotgun, snaps the ball, fires it again to his receiver who gets hit by Isaiah Pryor for a gain of four on the play. The no huddle is working. They have all three of their timeouts. Jackson, no pressure, fires one in for a first down to his receiver. Once again, the no huddle is working. The clock is running, 33 seconds to go. Jackson scrambling a little bit, and he's brought down by Troy Palomalo. They finally use a timeout here. Second down and six at the 20, at the 28. 29 seconds to go. Jackson empty backfield. Snaps the ball. Strikes it in there, and it's knocked away. Bowser could not bring it in. Daxton Hill in on the on the play. 25 seconds left to go. This game is over. But they're just trying to score some in garbage time. Get some respect. Jackson snaps the ball. Strikes it in there. And it's picked off by Stevenson. Stevenson at ices the game with an interception. And Lamar Jackson just couldn't find the right time to throw the football. It seemed like he always was in throwing at the wrong time. That's three interceptions and a fumble for L Lamar Jackson. And that's how the game is going to end. The Chicago Bears, your Chicago Bears, are going back to the Super Bowl for the fifth straight season. What a game. It started so crazy with the 75-yard run on the first play of the game from LaDainian Tomlinson. And then the safety from Jack Ham getting in there for a safety on Trevor Lawrence to make it a 7 to 2 ball game. It was the weirdest start to a game I've seen in a while. But it doesn't matter how it starts, it just matter how it finishes because your Chicago Bears are back in the Super Bowl. And they will play the Cincinnati Bengals for the second time in 3 seasons. Can the Bengals get revenge on the Bears for beating them two years prior? For our sake, hopefully not. Hopefully we can bring our fourth Lombardi home to Chicago. That, that one Lombardi back behind Matt Nagy on his desk is getting lonely. 
The other two are right next to each other, but there's just one on the left that has nobody to sit next to. We need to bring another one home. And that is going to be where the video ends for today. In the next one, we will play the Super Bowl against the Cincinnati Bengals. We will obviously be drawn as the home team, I would assume. No, the Bengals are drawn as the home team, so we will be the away team for the Super Bowl this time. But that's going to be in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button if you did enjoy. Hit that notification bell and hit the subscription button while you're down there. It doesn't take long. You want to do the Trinity. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!